welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a wish list video. I don't think I've ever filmed a wish list video because I just, I'm a savage, you guys. You know this about me, but I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to change my ways. And so I decided I would film a wish list video of makeup products that have caught my attention in the last few weeks. And some of them I have purchased, some of them I'm waiting for, some of them I'm waiting for them to go on sale. All kinds of things. I got a few wonderful products to talk to you guys about. So, without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, so the first product on my wish list is lip products, and this is the Melt Undertone Nudes Collection. I love this collection. I think the packaging is so aesthetically pleasing to me. I literally want to buy it. It looks so beautiful. I love the shade Golden, the shade Ginger. Those two really call to me, and the packaging is so fabulous. I just want the whole thing. But I did try to be less savage, and I didn't want to spend $65 on five liquid lipsticks, so I looked at them, I admired them, I watched other YouTubers videos with swatches and stuff like that, and I have decided that I don't need them, so I'm very happy to just admire them from afar and have them on my wish list, and that's all we need to do. I have been rearranging in my beauty room, and I found so many liquid lipsticks, so I really, really need to like do a declutter or just like pare it down because I really don't need all of the liquid lipsticks I have and I'm sure I have a million repeat shades so I think I would love to just focus on going through what I currently have and decluttering and rediscovering some new things in my current collection instead of buying more and just adding to the clutter in this room. So yeah, I think it's such a beautiful collection which is how it ended up on my wish list. but I think that's just gonna be a forever wish list item, never like one that actually ends up in here. So just thought I'd mention that because I thought it was so fabulous. The next thing that's on my wish list is the Kaleidos palettes, the two new ones from their Futurism collection. There is a neon one and the other one's called like VR teal or something like that. So there's that like bright one and then the like tealy orange combo. I really like Kaleidos formula. The new palettes, the little ones, the Futurism collection. I have the first three and I love those. They're right there because I love them so much and I just wanted to display them in my room. I love that they're small. I love that they're curated. I love that they can provide complete looks with each one. I think that's fabulous and I'm so excited to have these two new palettes. I actually am so appreciative because the company offered to send me the new palettes so I'm hoping I'll get them soon because I cannot wait to play with them you guys. It's like one of my most anticipated releases of the summer. I did not know they were coming out with new palettes and then I saw Angelica unbox her PR box on Instagram stories and I like lost my shit. Like I was just like Angelica like what? Oh my god oh my god like I'm sure she was just like, Karen, like, calm down. Um, but they're so gorgeous, and I saw Amy got them, Annette got them, Paulina got them, so I've been watching all of their videos, and so, so excited for the brand. They are like an American-Asian company, and I just think it's so cool because they're basically trying to offer quality products at an amazing price point, and if you guys are in other countries or in Asia, I would definitely recommend checking them out. I will go ahead and link their website down below for you guys because why spend money like getting really expensive makeup from the states when you can maybe shop a great brand right in Asia. Maybe it'll help with like taxes and shipping and stuff like that. I would definitely recommend, especially any of you guys from Sri Lanka that are watching me or anywhere else in Asia, I would totally check them out. So the next thing I'm so, so excited for is the Fenty Pro Filter Hydration Foundation. You guys know I love her matte foundation. I wear the shade 370. It's a great match for me. I wear it in the winter. I wear it in the summertime. It is really kind of budge proof for me. It's one of my holy grail foundations. My skin looks so flawless in it and it is so long wearing so I'm really really excited to see how the hydration version performs on my skin. I have pretty dry skin. I always do prep my skin though when I'm about to wear a matte foundation. I'll usually go in with a face oil or a face moisturizer to keep my skin nice and plump so it doesn't look dry and like you know like so I really, really love the matte, but I'm excited to try the hydrating foundation as well. I'm sure it's going to be so great, and that launch is pretty soon, so I definitely have like my eye on that product. The next two products are from ABH. 
ABH Jackie Ina palette and the Peach Fizz Loose Highlighter both are on my wish list. The loose highlighter is actually the thing I want the most. The palette is more so because I'm an ABH like collector sort of, but I've gotten so good, you guys. I've gotten good at not buying it as soon as it comes out because I'm totally one of those people that'll buy it on the ABH website the day it launches just because and then I'm like no I can wait I can get it on Sephora and get free shipping I can buy it on Ulta and use my points and now that Sephora is having a sale it's like ding 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 like all the alarms all the bells and whistles are going off in my head because I get to save money I get to save money so I'm really excited to pick up those two products the peach fizz highlighter I am so excited for because you guys know this bitch loves anything peachy. I love a good peachy blush, a good peachy highlight. As you can see, this is the Melt Genesis Highlighter. I've been wearing it as a highlight blush, like hybrid, for the last couple of days. I've literally taken the imprint off this freaking compact, and I'm so lucky and happy that I have this. I didn't want to buy it on Melt's website, but it did come to Sephora, and I bought it there. And I just love this blush so much. So I'm excited to try the ABH Loose Highlighter. I did try the Loose Highlighter in So Hollywood. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was anything like worth writing home about, especially because their Amorezy highlighter is so beautiful. But I've never seen them do a peachy highlighter shade. I've had a few of their glow kits, and I've never seen one like that in the glow kits. So I'm so excited to try the loose highlighter version of it. The next thing I'm so excited for is a brand I've wanted to try because of my friend Hannah Louise Poston here on YouTube. She raves about M Cosmetics Infinite Lip paint clouds or something like that. It's their liquid lipstick formula. And there's a beautiful shade called, is it Faded Clementine? It's like a rusty color. You guys know my go-to rusty orange shade. And they actually did a little collab where they did a little set of the lipstick, the serum blush, an eyeliner, and then a felt tip liner. So I did grab the set because I thought that would be a great way for me to try out their products. They don't have any eyeshadows or anything. Mostly like the lipsticks, glosses, eyeliners. So I'm really really excited to try M Cosmetics because it's a brand I've heard about over the years and never tried. So it'll be my first time trying them and I will definitely review them for you guys as well. So the next thing on my wish list is the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro palette. This was their collab number two with Stacey Marie. I don't actually follow her, but I did watch a bit of her Instagram when the second palette was announced. And I know a few people were a little bit curious, like, why is the second palette the exact same but bigger when a lot of people had apparently complained about the size of the first palette but I don't know I know it's a big giant rainbow palette but I've heard so many good things about the formula of this palette that it's got me really really curious I know my friend Amy Loves Makeup and Paulina Beauty both have palette number one and have nothing but good things to say about them so I'm very very excited to try this brand out and I will keep you guys posted on my thoughts when I get the palette. The next thing I'm so excited for is skincare. This is the Tatcha Silk Recovery Eye Cream. It just sounds so hydrating and delicious from the description. They say the cream like melts into your skin when it like hits your skin. So I'm so, so excited. I definitely have my eye on this for the Sephora sale that's coming up. And it's kind of a pricey product, it's $60, but if it does what it says it does, I'm really, really excited to try it out. The next thing I'm excited to try are two Charlotte Tilbury products. I don't know when these will launch, but it's the Magic Vanish Color Corrector. And there's a shade for my skin tone, like a tan girl friendly one. And the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I love the Airbrush Flawless powder and so I'm really really excited to see what the foundation is like and she's also coming out with 44 shades which I'm really excited about. I don't think Charlotte Tilbury has any foundations that has such a variety of shades in her lineup yet so I'm so so excited to see what she does and how this performs and hopefully all these products will come to Sephora so I can try them there. That way if I have a hard time shade matching I can you know, return and get my right shade. But I'm really, really excited because I have really high hopes for that foundation. Also, can we take a second to talk about all the foundations that have come out recently? Like, holy moly. It's making me dizzy when I think about it. 
So the next thing on my list is probably the most affordable item on this list. It's the BH Cosmetics Glowing and Grease Palette. Now I had talked about my little boo-boo on ordering on BH Cosmetics in my July, June, July haul where I accidentally ordered the wrong thing. So I got a bunch of stuff that I didn't even want and it was basically more expensive to return it. So I decided to just keep it. That'll probably be in a giveaway for you guys. I haven't really decided what I want to do. But anyway, I digress. I really really want the glowing in grease palette because it's $16 and the blushes look so glowy and delicious Like I said, I have a thing for glowy blushes like I can't even hide it smear glowy blushes all over my body And I think this palette is fabulous And I love the price point so whenever whenever I get out of my BH hiatus I will pick this up, but for now, I'm just going to admire it from a distance. The next product I'm really excited to try, this is going to be a someday product because I don't plan on ordering from Linda Hallberry anytime soon. She doesn't have a U.S. retailer, so the only way to get her products is to either order on Beauty Bay or through her website, so I'm going to wait it out a little bit because, I don't know, I'm trying to not buy from international brands as much because typically the shipping is much more expensive whereas if it's within the United States I can typically get free shipping so I'm trying to hold off and I did try a few things from her last year and I really liked her mood crayons I have like these fun mood crayons I love those but I didn't love her eyeshadow palette that I tried out so I'm trying to just like not buy anything from her but my friend Angelica loves the Fantastics and she came out with some new shades for the summer so I kind of have my eye on that hot orange corally shade as well as the mauve shade looks beautiful and these products are cool because they're multi-purpose you can wear them on your cheeks on your eyes as well as your lips and Linda Hallberry has quite a few tutorials using them on her channel so I just really like the artistry behind her brand and yeah someday I hope to try them so the next is the Color Drain Power Collab. Now, Color Drain is one of my favorite, favorite indie brands. They are black owned, I believe, and their pigmentation of their shadows is delicious. Their Queen of Hearts palette was my holy grail palette for so, so long. And yeah, their shimmer formula is just unmatched. It's so buttery, it's so delicious, it's so opaque. It just makes my heart sing every time I play with my colored rain eyeshadow so love it so much and I'm excited to see what their collab with power is I really like the TV show I haven't seen it recently but I think I watched like two or three seasons of it and I really like it so I have a feeling it's gonna be an eyeshadow collab I really hope it's an eyeshadow collab because they haven't really come out with any new eyeshadows in a while and so I think it's really cool that they're teaming up with a you know TV show and they're such great characters and I don't know I think it's gonna be pretty epic so I'm very excited to see what that collab is all about and the last thing on my wish list is the give me glow vintage rose palette this one has been sneak peeked and I'm just excited because I love give me glows eyeshadow formula I have quite a few singles from them as well as most of their eyeshadow palettes and this one looks fabulous it's a mix of pinks and greens which is like really trendy right now it's like the watermelon trend um, but they're calling it the vintage rose trend I haven't seen all the shades in the palette yet but I have a feeling it's gonna be really good so I am very very excited for it okay guys that is everything on my makeup wish list let me know what's on your wish list down in the comments you guys know I love hearing from you so leave me a comment and I will definitely get back to you thank you guys so much for watching this video I will see you in my next one soon bye guys